Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of how to build the modern Japanese apartment house tutorial. You know, I need to think of a better title next time, that is way too long. Anyways, uh, we're just going to start by decorating the outside of the house, and then we're going to decorate the inside of the house. And so for the outside of the house, I'm grabbing some flowers, a uh, flower pot, bushes, lily pads for the pond, glowstone so we can light it up. And I just start off by adding, uh, uh, bringing these bushes up, making them look kind of overgrown. Uh, just all over the place. It doesn't really matter too much where you put them. Um, just do whatever you think looks good. Uh, you don't need a copy or anything. Oh, and this part. This is the part where I forgot to add uh, windows to the back corner here. I am sorry about that. Like, well, this is my first video, so I was bound to mess up somewhere. Um, but I think next time I, I won't mess up again. We'll see about that. Uh, but this was my first video, so uh, I'm already working on the next tutorial, and it should be a lot easier to follow. kind of know what I'm doing now. So stay tuned for that. It's it's pretty similar uh, style to this one, actually. Uh, just a little bit bigger. Uh, and of course I'm going to do other kinds of videos as well. Not just like houses and things, well, houses, lots of houses, but uh, kind of other things that a lot of people don't do, <clears throat> like gazebos. Uh, pretty sure everyone knows what a gazebo is. It's, uh, well, well never mind, I, I barely know what a gazebo is. It's that, it's that wooden thing that you find in like parks. Anyways, I built, built one on the water, so there's going to be a tutorial for that one soon. Uh, I'd like to get around to doing like mansions, uh, more modern houses, more medieval houses, things like that. Alright, so after you've got your bushes all over the place, uh, you might have noticed that I put glowstone under some of them. That's just to get them to light up at night. Uh, that's kind of a, light, a thing I like to do with a lot of my builds. I'll put like hide glowstone underneath bushes or I'll hide them inside of trees just because then that creates a really nice glowing effect at night. Like it doesn't, obviously it doesn't do anything during the day, but at night it's it's a pretty cool effect you can get going. Uh, I added those pillars to the corner corners of the house. Um, try to balance out the build a little bit more. And then I just put this uh, sidewalk up front with the uh, stone slabs. again just to add a little bit more detail and balance to the build. Hey, can you believe these sheep? You know, I, I think I'm going to turn the volume off on this part because the sheep just won't shut up. <laughs> they just keep going. You know, that's the one thing about Minecraft I wish they had an option for it, is please let me turn off animals, or at least animal volume. I don't want to hear them all the time. And plus they, they walk all over the place. When you're trying to build stuff, they'll just like jump in your way. So you end up hitting them and then you feel bad, even though it's a video game animal. So what I'm doing here is I'm placing these signs next to the door. And you might be thinking, you know, what the heck, why would you put signs there? Like, they look really weird, but I actually think they kind of look good. Like, they don't really look like signs if you don't write anything on them. So it's kind of like a little bit of extra detail. Like, adds a little bit more uh, dimension. And I'm just placing some uh, flowers on the edges because they look kind of lonely. They need something on them. Adds a lot of color and charm to the house, I think. So, go crazy with the flower pots. You'll put whatever you want in them. I put some uh, trees, oh, these saplings on the side ones. All right, and the back balcony has nothing on it. Like, it's kind of cool to have a balcony, but there's nothing there. So I decided to grab some spruce wood stairs. You can use whatever you want. And I'm gonna build a little bench out back so people can sit on their balcony and watch the sun rise. Uh, this is a flat world, but if you're building this on your creative world, you know, that's got mountains and stuff like that, you can be pretty cool. And just put signs on each side for, like, the armrests. 
All right, looking pretty good. And now finally, after all that hard work, we get to decorate the inside. You might be thinking, you know, wow, it is it small in here, but we can fit some stuff in here, make it look nice. So I'm just throwing some bookshelves up in a kind of a, a weird pattern. I put down the bed, um, and I'm just going to start putting paintings all over the walls. Yeah, sometimes it takes a while. Okay, we'll take the creeper painting. Uh, put a little chair here. So you can sit down and read books. I mean, obviously the person who, who lives here likes books. Yeah, gotta fit a chest in there. And then we're gonna put in some carpet. There we go. All right. Uh, some item frames, you know, photos of the family. Um, everybody in this guy's family looks like Steve. So that works. Uh, we'll try to get another painting up here. Yeah, the paintings in this texture pack, if you're wondering what the texture pack was, it's the, the city texture pack, uh, which you can find on all the, the console versions, or the, the mobile versions. But I'm pretty sure you can also find it on like uh, Planet Minecraft or something. I'll go ahead and look that up, uh, put it in the description box, because I'm pretty sure they have it for PC as well. It's my, my favorite texture pack for the console versions, I like it better than default. But in part one, I showed you how to build it in default. Uh, you just change out a couple materials, and it still looks good. All right, and we are so close to finish. We're just going to uh, decorate the top part now. Um, same thing, pretty much. You know, bed. We'll put right here. Uh, the paintings, bookshelves, uh, a chair. Well, maybe not a chair. Okay. And I'm not I'm not sure if I delete those ones. Okay, that's gonna be the chair. Um you don't have to put all those bookshelves there. It kinda did something weird with the windows I didn't notice. But I'll just put some more bookshelves here. Um so you can set something. Uh, you could cover them with anything. You could actually cover them with carpet. It looks pretty nice. Um it doesn't look like carpet if it's on top or something, it just kinda looks like a a, a finish, like a tabletop finish. But, you know, flowers everywhere. The people who live here obviously love flowers. So, just flowers everywhere. Flowers are nice. And then, um, fool around until you find a painting you like. Just put paintings on the walls. Adds a lot of color to the house. You can't really have too many paintings. Alright, another creeper painting. And some item frames. Some photos of the family. Um, Creepers, yeah. Okay, so a creeper lives here. Everybody in this guy's family is a creeper. Um, that painting is actually, you know, uh, uh, just a larger photo of his mom or something. His, his creeper mom. Or dad. Who knows. Oh, and we're gonna put some carpet in here. Uh, I think green carpet would fit the theme perfectly for the upstairs apartment. And we could put it over uh, most of the floor. And voila, just like that. It's nice in here. And that's a pretty nice view. There's the sunrise we got going. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, you can decorate it however you want. Um, if you don't like the way I decorated it, I mean, I hope you did. But if you didn't, you know, just change it however you like, you know, to fit your texture pack or if you use the same texture pack. Um, oh, yeah. So I'm just going to put like this lever here above the pond because it looks like a faucet yeah just like that it's the little touches that count i think and after all that hard work i think it's time to get some rest hey guys so I actually decided to record this part live um this is the house that i showed um in the intro to the first part of the video um, I built it in a creative world. Um, I think it looks a lot better in a creative world than it would, say, like in a flat world. 
and I just planted all these trees around the house. And uh, I added like this little walkway with like the cobblestone wall, so you have like a yard. Um, you could actually do like a lot more with it, um, especially if there were like other houses nearby. Um, I also put um, glowstone in some of the trees, like you can barely see it if you look through. So it glows at night, so I'll show you guys what it looks like at night too. So this is what it looks like at night. This is what I was talking about. You see how the trees are glowing, the pond is glowing. Um, I don't think I put any glowstone under these bushes, but if I did, they would glow too. Um, you can kind of see them, but not really. Um, if that bothers you, you could just put more leaves in front of them, but you wouldn't be able to see them at all. And that's about it. I just wanted to showcase uh, the house for you guys one more time. Well, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it took a bit more work than I actually thought it would, but uh, it was totally worth it. I had a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to the next project. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, just leave them below. I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, I want to thank you guys again for watching. If you liked the build, then please leave a like. Let me know. And if you guys want to see more Minecraft builds, uh, I've got a lot more videos coming. Uh, please subscribe. I'm Tenzo. This was Tenzo Town. I will see you guys next time.